Konami has finally updated the top eight prize support for Yu-Gi-Oh! Regionals, and I ain't capping. I ain't crazy. I Unless the Thanksgiving leftovers I had today were, are just making my mind loopy. Maybe it's my cancer meds or something. But you know what? This this seems really good. Is it serialized cards? No. Is it alt cards? No. Is it cash prizes? No, which we actually don't need. But I think that this prize support is, is just great. It's what the community has been asking for. You know what it is, ladies and gentlemen. Hold your cheeks tight. It's an air fryer. Try to relax your anus, your shoulders. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is your host with soon to be the most air fryers of the most, AVRLR32 here. And don't even destroy the boo-boo stain off the subscribe button. I want you to destroy the living air fryer. Off that like and subscribe button so we can climb even higher the 1500 ladder. Last video did absolutely amazing. Thank you all so much for the love and support on that. Hope you subscribe and enjoy the videos. Also, I've got a whole playlist of a Yu-Gi-Oh! retrospective series, so be sure to check that out on the channel for all y'all new subscribers. I think that a lot of y'all would like it. But anyway, if y'all are new to the channel, uh, <laughs> we we about to make a lot of jokes. So sit back, relax, get a blankie on because it's pretty cold out. We hit that cold weather and, and just laugh your butt off. So... I saw this YouTube short from you know, Robbie uh, Word Salad Cole. No offense, Robbie, but you're kind of getting long in the tooth there in Word Salad. And uh, you're, you're going to see the picture on the screen here. This is a regional being held by Core TCG, and <laughs> the top eight. They've updated the prize support, and apparently they've done this in other areas of the world too, and I am just now finding out, I guess. Uh, the top eight gets... Not cash prizes. You don't get a case. You don't get, you know, 10 mole charmies. You don't get a starlight rare, I don't know, electric boogaloo shaped snatcher beaver warrior. You get a fucking air fryer. <laughs> now, my mama does a lot of cooking. I love my mama to death. Ma uh, mama Avery LR32, or maybe we call her Avery LR33, whatever. But uh, my, my mama, my mama told me, uh, do you know how much air fryers cost? I'm like, I, if I had to guess like 100 bucks, she's like, Avery, you can get a lot of air fryers for much cheaper than $100. So shout out to my mama there for filling me in on air fryers. Uh, you can get an air fryer for dirt cheap. This is hilarious. And so we have now gone from, Konami's like, oh, you don't want a rubber mat? You get an air fryer and they smack you upside the face and maybe even grab your butt a little bit because you know that Yu-Gi-Oh players are always spreading their cheeks all over those wooden busted ass chairs that, I don't know, they, Konami got from Kohl's for a couple bucks a piece or whatever regional venue you went to, they got them for a couple dollars a piece. And here's the funny thing about the air fryers. Oh, we on a roll today. Oh, we on a roll. <laughs> Uh, here's the thing with the air fryers. So either Konami knows that 99% of their players are just fat asses that can't find pants big enough to fit their butt cracks because their cracks are always hanging out all over the place and they haven't showered since, I don't know, President Bush was in office or George Bush, either George Bush really, or either Bush president, whatever. Um, so they're either saying, look, y'all need to lose weight and put some healthy food in that air fryer, or they know that 99% of the player base is insulin resistant uh, other than your boy, although I could lose some weight. And uh, they're saying, hey, continue to just gain weight out the yin yang and put all your meat and your steaks in that air fryer because you're totally not going to go to a fast food place after a regional or a YCS. I can think of better prize support, though. You know what they should be giving out? They should be giving out giant big old buckets full of uh, protein powder. I kid you not. I saw this at a regional, and clearly the dude had little man syndrome because he's all jacked, and he's got muscles on out to here, and he's looking all fit and shit. <laughs> So you know what this dude did? He's at like ten, he's at he's at the top ten tables actually. This is hilarious. This is back in like I think 2014 or like 2015 Necros format, whatever it was, 2016. This dude had like literally it was like this big, and he had the protein powder sitting there on the fucking table while he was playing. And this dude was ripped. I mean, he was jacked. It was the funniest thing I've ever seen because he was like the most fit dude in the room out of like 400 people, and like. 300 and let's say a 400 man regional let's say 380 of them like needed to go to the gym 
and he was one of the 20 people who did not need to go to the gym because he was in shape. I'm like, you know what? Let's Don't be giving out no air fryers. You need to be giving out some protein powder, some protein shakes, some, some Miralax, uh, some Dolcalax, some... I don't know, a, a free coupon to go to, I don't know, your local gym, 20 Planet Fitness, whatever the fuck, like, <laughs> an air fryer, an air fryer, who would have thought, 25 years, you get your quarter century secret rares and you get an air fryer, <laughs> You know damn well people going to be play tests on top of that air fryer. You know damn well some troll dumbass dude is going to be doing like what people did at Burger King for a while, taking the the little plates and shit from Burger King, slapping them on down on the table and then making that your play mat or the like the little paper tray that they put on top of like the little tray that you get at McDonald's and shit. I've seen people use that as their play mat. Like you summoning a blue eyes white dragon or a snake eye ash on top of your McDouble or your your Big Mac attack advertisement on the paper. People go put the air fryer, like, and open it up for their graveyard and then close it back up to, like, put their deck on top. Ah, oh, this community, I, I need therapy. I, 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 I'm too mentally overstimulated. Like, this, this is insane to me. Uh, 25 years in this game, and Konami decides to give us a fucking air fryer. Now, this is already compacted by the fact that for the YCS tops, you get a little like picture frame to put your cards in that looks like they got it for five bucks or on sale for two bucks from like Michaels or Hobby Lobby or some shit. And it's dog water. And the thing is, is that this regional, like you're seeing in the picture, wherever I decide to put it, uh, is being hosted by Core TCG. Regardless of the fact if Core TCG decided to just do a line and say, let's put out a fucking air fryer for our top eight, or if it's Konami, either way, it's dumbassery involved. Like, it, this is the one real life thing I want to hand trap, and hand traps need to be hit. Like, can I ash blossom the air fryer and get a box instead? <laughs> Uh, can I feather dust the the air fryer to get that shit on out my face and I don't know, give me give me a pack. I mean, I'd rather take like five packs of the latest set at that point. You get five packs for entering. Give me five more plus like a case of the latest set and I'm happy. Like a, a fucking air fryer. What are you gonna do? Sell it on eBay for like forty dollars and then you look it up on Walmart and they're selling it for twenty, so now you're selling it for like fifteen. That's not even enough to make that's not even enough for your entry feedback. Like, this is ridiculous. Who's going to be using an air fryer? Like, honestly, if I meet an, a Yu-Gi-Oh player who, like, actually can use an air fryer legitimately, I will be shocked. Because you know damn well 99% uh, of the player base is not doing that. They're going on out to fast food. They're going on out at McDonald's or Taco Bell. Or they're doing the $7 brunch, crunch, wrap, supreme, whatever combo menu at Taco Bell. Like... Uh, ain't nobody out here trying to use an air fryer. This is some baby bag bullshit. And so, regardless if it's coming from Core TCG or Konami, it's just idiot uh, idiocracy. It's it's egg on the face, or I guess chicken on your face. If you decide to open up the air fryer while you cook some shit up on in there, <laughs> you go get some third degree birds while you play your snake eye fire deck. You go play OSS on the air fryer to get your chicken to come out faster. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, I'm, I'm, I'm killing myself here. This is so funny. I mean, I'm making myself die here. Oh, oh my god, an air fryer. And I, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, people that get top eight are going to show off this air fryer in their deck profiles, and they are going to be just busting Konami's balls. Because I, I, I know there's no shot that Core TCG is this stupid. I can't believe that we've gone from the days of getting things like Dark End Dragons for prize cards. People still want Blood Mephist to be reprinted. To now we've got air fryers. You're going to be cooking your chicken. Your KFC chicken. Uh, what if they gave us the KFC air fryer console? Like KFC was joking that you can play video games and cook up your chicken in this air fryer ass looking console. If it was that, that'd be pretty cool because I don't even think that thing ever released. <sighs> I, I'm I'm shocked. I'm speechless. But I hope you had a good laugh because I know I sure as hell did when I saw that that video uh, about an air fryer and Core TCG. If, if someone from Core TCG sees this video, 
I hope to God it's not y'all putting out this fucking air fryer because you know the player base doesn't want no damn air fryer. And if I somehow top eight with an air fryer, I'm going to tell the head judge, I'm going to say, listen, you can take that air fryer and go and throw it on out in the garbage. Just, get, just give me a box. Give me a case. I want you to give me, I don't know, the, the box of tissues that y'all use. And I want all y'all to sign it. And I'll go sell it on eBay and say, look, all the judges at the event wrote their names on this box of tissues. <laughs> Uh, they should be giving out body pillows, bro. Could you imagine if they gave out, like, IP Masquerina body pillows instead of air fryers? Like, I think the player base would really want that. Especially with the ones that like to cosplay and shit when it's not even a convention. It's not a place to go cosplay. But for some reason, a lot of people do that. And it's just like, okay, I guess. You do you. But, like, get, give me the win. I don't want to sit down and across from, I don't know, a Infernal Flame Banshee-ass looking thing. <laughs> like... Uh, I don't even know what I'm even saying at this point, but if y'all get a top eight, be sure to send me a picture of your air fryer and say, hey, listen, Avery, we're going to throw all the bad boo-boo stain players up in here. We're going to throw all the hand traps in here. We're going to hit start. We're going to see what happens. Guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. I'll see you in the next video.